obviously a uh, great win tonight when you're uh, first half missed seven free throws, two front ends and a one on one, and we're 0 for 7 from 3. Uh, everything you talk about as a coach, it's easier said than done, but you gotta, you can't be offensive sensitive. And we were for a little while. That's why we got down nine. We were pouting because the ball wasn't going in. And we stopped worrying about that. We started worrying about getting stops and rebounding. Eventually, the ball's going to go in. Like I told him at halftime, I'd rather the ball goes in in the second half. Um, and it didn't really go into the last 10 minutes. But I'd rather, if you're going to have a quick 10 minutes where the ball goes in, you want the last 10. So I think we made four threes, and I know they were all in the last 10 minutes. So uh, great win. When you can, uh, any time a game's not going your way, you got every reason to get beat, and you find a way to win and win by 14, shut a team out and the way we did and force 23 turnovers. You got to be proud of your guys. So I was proud of the way that uh, they went, the way we hung in there and things went. 18 offensive rebounds. 46% of our misses. 55 deflections to the season high. It was like I'm being a dead horse with this question, but if them change the game, how about the ends? Yeah, it means you got, well, they get high minutes, they five blocks. We have 11 blocks. Yeah, but I agree with you. you know, um, like I said, I mean, the has got, you know, he's a great athlete, young kid with a world of talent, he's still figuring it out. But obviously, we're a better team than that. Who else was high with the question? I'm a career guy, 17. Uh, 10. We had a lot of guys had up at night. So, we were able to set up the press when the ball store started going in. I don't know what the run was. But you know, we went from down six to up six. 17 out run, 17. 24 to 3. So, you just got to keep battling. Uh, you got to keep battling, and, and regardless of uh, when things go your way, you, know, you got to make them go your way, which I thought we did tonight. So, really, really proud of, of, of uh, tonight's win. Really proud of tonight's win. Win by 14. Hold the team to 54 points, forced 23 turnovers, and just totally took a game that could have could have went the other way. Our guys, the players, refused to let it happen. So give them all the credit. So they showed great fortitude. Coach, it's kind of felt like Washington State. Um, the guys didn't hang their heads; they kept fighting. Can you talk about the resiliency? Yep, that's what I was just saying. Just really proud of the fortitude and resiliency. Um, it's 20 years doing this. Sometimes, you know, I think a long time ago, you know, we got a team that's maybe just a year away from being tough enough to do this. I've had those kind of teams. And then, you know, when, when you have a team that you know can do this, they're old enough, um, they got enough character, uh, they know how to do it, they're tough enough to do it. Um, you know when you have a team. Offense wasn't there for a you know, good portion yeah. of the game, but the defense was still there. 15 steals, 11 blocks. Yeah, and there were some times where it wasn't there. That's why we got that. It got better as the game went on. You know, I thought, what happens when things aren't going your way on offense? Sometimes your mind wanders and start feeling sorry for yourself. Or, you know, you try to do too much on defense. We're fouling too much. Uh, high base over, over reading the steal when we got back to where we're at on this play. So, it's like I told him in a timeout, I don't need heroes, I need soldiers. You know, soldiers win wars, heroes uh, get people in trouble. They get you in trouble. In sports, you know, heroes get you beat. You gotta be a soldier and do your job. Keep doing your job, eventually the morning turns. And if it doesn't, you still gotta keep doing your job. Play the right way, you'll win the next one. But you can't start getting uh, out of character and panicking. I thought we did that a little bit. 
We did that a lot, actually. That's why we're losing. But we, we put them on the foul. They have 20 made free throws. We don't, we don't give up that many free throws. We just don't do that. We don't our stats. You know? Way, way, way too many free throws. Does this kind of speak to how they care for the guys and how much they like playing with each other and how yeah. they each other accountable and oh. each other up and things like that? We have a great thing. Our veterans are great guys. The freshmen that are playing, um, great attitudes. Um, you know, but people follow the leadership of the team. And when Jaime and Tiger and Dave, Jalen Clark, they're, they're so they're such they're such winners. It sends a message to your younger guys. Like when you're a coach, you know when you have that. It makes your life easier. And you know when you have it, you know when you don't. And you got a guy like Adam that's, you know, he starts for us and, you know, all he cares about is winning. It's unbelievable. It's one of the best attitudes of any kid I've ever coached. Coach, 11 and 0, you know, the crowd was uh, into it the whole game. You know, I don't know about that. They didn't have much to get into. I, the crowd was moaning as we kept missing open shots. So was I. No. But uh, you got one, like I keep saying, you got one. Because the road, like next week's going to be tough, guys. The road gets tough. You know, sometimes the schedule dictates your record. It'll be a lot, 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 lot harder to win next week. We can't take our student body with us. Our student body is awesome. Uh, what, what impressive notes about my days are stat line today? Uh, 17 deflections, 13 rebounds. I know he can score. He's got to keep his confidence and take shoot, shoot the ball when he's on balance. Uh, as Jaime puts in the gym time, Jaime is as dedicated a player to being to being a professional as any his maturity level. It's what happens when you stay in school. Like where, where Jaime goes to a winning team in the NBA next year, he'll be able to play for a winning team in a role because he's ready now. I mean, he, he has professional habits maturity, um, the way he can pay attention, the way he can show up every day, the work every day. Um, you know, young guys in the NBA, nowadays they take these kids when they're 18, 19, and they wonder why they struggle. I mean, he's a, he's a professional in every aspect. When you get your first 15 or 16 threes, how important is it to get the first one to drop? <laughs> I mean, eventually you got to, you know, it's got to get eventually. If it doesn't, you're probably not going to win. I think the first one might have went in and out three times before it dropped. Because what happens, it starts to get even. You, you know, I'm over there saying you can't worry about it, it's just rebounding. But it starts to demoralize your team. Also, you know, the fans, oh. <laughs> you know. And, the, and when you're at home and that happens, like the, 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 the kids can feel the crowd. You know, they, and it makes it harder on the next one. You give a couple to go down, it changes things, obviously. The next guy's more relaxed, shoot. Uh, each team had more turnovers and made shots in the first 30 minutes, but you guys are now 16-0, and 0, and you hold opposing teams to less than 70 points. So do you think your team is really comfortable playing in some of these kind of ugly, sloppy games, do you think? Yeah, well, you know, you know, teams that defend win national championships. If you don't defend, and they also win NBA time. You know, we try to get out on the break as much as we can, but the reality is when you run into real coaches and real teams, you're not going to be out on the break all night. you got to be able to win on the miss. You know, you get to the six-game tournament, which is what we're about at UCLA. you got to, it's like, it's like in the old days, my 81-year-old father's here today, he used to, he used to tell me he used to win dance camp. You gotta be able to dance to every every song that I play. Some are slow, some are fast. You know. So it ain't the tango every night, right? So you gotta be able to win different ways against different styles. So it's not always gonna be easy. But when you defend, you always have a chance. When you win. I tell these guys, I'll tell you, when, when, when the when teams that only win when the ball goes in are in the NIT. Real programs win when things aren't going their way. They, they find a way to make it. And tonight it was getting on the offensive class. So 
Really, really proud of our guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you.